Okay, oh my goodness. I'm gonna show you how to see your Instagram insights in about five seconds. We're gonna open Instagram, tap on the hamburger in the top right corner, we're gonna tap on insights, and boom, you're in. But what good is this information if we don't know what the numbers even mean? What does it mean? I might need that. Yeah. Hey, I'm Akeem from Hootsuite's social media team, and this is Hootsuite Labs, where we teach you the science of social media marketing, how it works, and how to be successful. Today, I'm gonna to show you not just how to read your Instagram analytics for posts, stories, and reels, but what the numbers are really trying to tell you and how to use them to win on Instagram. First batter up to the plate is old trusty, the Instagram post. You can see your post analytics on Instagram by heading to the content you shared section in insights and scrolling down to posts. Tap into the post you want to look at. First, take a look at the overview section. You can calculate your post engagement rate by dividing your accounts engaged by your accounts reach number and multiplying it by 100. This percentage shows you how involved your audience is with your content and how many people interacted with it versus scrolled on by. We'll talk about profile activity in a second. Second, we have reach and impressions. They're similar, but slightly different. Reach is the number of people who saw your post divided into followers and non-followers. Meanwhile, impressions are the number of times your post was seen and where on the app. These numbers are often in the same ballpark. And if your goals are to get more followers, your goal is to increase the number of non-followers your posts are reaching. And also the number of impressions coming from hashtags and the explore page. To that end, you will want to make your post as engaging as possible so that the algorithm notes that your followers like it and start surfacing it to more random strangers. Another thing you can do is make it as accessible as possible. That means writing keyword rich captions and customizing your alt text to show up on the explore page and hashtag pages. If you want to hear more about optimizing your Instagram posts for discovery, check out Dimitri's Instagram SEO video right here. In the third section, we see our engagement metrics. This includes likes and comments. Some may call these vanity metrics, but I call them validation metrics. So please hit that YouTube like button right here. Thumbs up. Engagement also means saves and shares, which are an indicator that your audience loves the content you're creating so much, they either want to save it for later or show their friends. Some people believe that Instagram thinks these indicators are more important than likes and comments, but it also depends on what your goals are for each post. Post comments also fall under engagement or interaction. No secrets here. If this number is high, that means you've touched on a topic your audience wants to talk about. And if you want to keep those comments flowing, you should spill some more of the same tea. <gasps> oh my God. That is to say, post on similar topics. Speaking of comments, <laughs> ask me any Instagram analytics questions you've got down in the comments below. If you want to build your brand loyalty or nurture a relationship with your followers, Focus on encouraging those comments. You can use Brand Watch by Hootsuite Hootsuit. to see what your followers are talking about elsewhere, then create content around those topics. Watch Nick's social media listening video if you want to find out more right here. And last but definitely not the least, we have profile activity, which is one of the most important metrics for your Instagram posts because it gives you an indicator of how well your content drew in your audience. Whether they just came to creep your profile or follow you or click the link in your bio and go to your website and buy something. This is where the money's at, people. Money, money, money. Okay, next up to bat is your quick and dirty Instagram story analytics. You can see these by heading to the content you shared section in your insights and scrolling down to stories. 
you'll want to take a peek at your story engagement. Again, you can calculate your engagement rate by dividing the number of story engagements by that story's reach. This reflects how well your content resonated with your audience. And evidently, this story was not as popular as my feed posts. Instagram stories have a unique set of navigation metrics that give some hints about how people felt about your story. Taps forward are normal. It's rare that people will let a static image play out for the full time. It makes sense. But a lot of taps to exit or to go to the next account are generally a negative sign. Meanwhile, taps back indicate that your story was so interesting, people wanted to see it again. Your third batter up to the Instagram analytics plate is your real insights. You can see your Instagram real analytics by heading to the content you shared section in your insights and scrolling down to reels. Now, the metrics you're going to want to <coughs> oh, reel in. <laughs> That's hilarious to me. Are mostly interactions. These are a great indication of how well your reel landed. Your real interactions show you the total likes, comments, shares, and saves your real got. I mentioned it earlier with posts, but for those who skipped ahead to this section, saves and shares are a great indicator that you're doing something right because people want to share your reel with their friends or come back for a second peek later. Meanwhile, if you've got a spicy comment section, that's an indicator that you've landed on a topic your audience cares a great deal about for better or for worse. Also, just like with your posts, your reels reach is split into two segments, followers and non-followers. Generally, your reels will always have more strangers than followers watching them, or at least until Instagram stops trying to beat TikTok at its own game. So far, Instagram's native analytics have shown us what's happening on a post by post basis. But what if you want to see your engagement rate over time or your follower growth month over month or whether your plan to get more impressions from the explore page is working? Well, just you wait. If you already have a Hootsuite account, you can see this data in three steps. If you don't already have a Hootsuite account, get your free 60 day Hootsuite trial right now. I'll wait. Okay. Step one. Head to your Hootsuite dashboard and click the analytics icon in the sidebar. Step two, click on new report and in the window that pops up, go down to performance by network. If you click Instagram business, you can pick from one of three Instagram focused templates. Today, we'll choose Instagram engagement. Step three, look at your beautiful report. You can adjust the date range and whether you want to compare one period of time to another. And if you have more than one Instagram account connected, make sure you're looking at the right one. Like I said, Hootsuite reports take all your Instagram analytics and track them over time. So you can see not just your engagement rate for one post for its whole lifetime, but your engagement rate for all your posts day by day. This makes it so much easier to see what's driving success as well as dips that could indicate a real problem in your strategy that you might need to jump on. If you want to learn more, watch Deepa's video on how she uses Hootsuite analytics to answer all her daily strategy questions right here. Now that you're an Instagram analytics pro, here's how you can use that knowledge to make yourself look super duper smart. First, you can export your report using the buttons in the top navigation bar. It'll send the data out in any format you like. You can also schedule a weekly or monthly report that goes out automatically. One pro tip though, is to make a copy of your own working report and add some notes and clean it up. So the most important information is right up top and easy to understand. When you're presenting your results, don't just export a report and dump the data. You're going to want to translate these numbers into what they're actually saying about the brand's performance online and what that means for the business. Review your strategy, review your goals and dive into why your content is over or underperforming. Do you see any patterns that can inform your strategy in the future? Do you need to test publishing times or alt text? 
is there a certain color of post that always kills it? If this is the kind of thing that's in your job description, you're gonna to wanna to check out our video on building a social media report of right here. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe and grab your free Hootsuite trial. Bye for now, friends.